Hello everyone. Today we shall look into a scenario where uh, we could change the month name titles dynamically. Here, let us bring a column chart. I'll go to the home tab, select a column, clustered column chart. Okay. In the x-axis, I'll bring the brand data, which is relevant to the sales. I'll bring in the brand. And in the y-axis, I'll bring in the total sales, which is sum of sales. Okay, I'll select the y-axis from the measure table. I have this measure which is made, which is sum of sales. Okay, now we could see that based upon the sales, we have six different brands and the total total sales appearing. Here in the title, we we have the title as total sales by brand, which is by default. Now we would like to customize that uh, title based upon our requirement or based upon the selection. Okay, for selection, let us bring in a slicer for the month. Okay, I'll select the slicer from the visualizations. Okay, this is our slicer. I'll bring in the month name column from the date table. Okay. Here we have different month names from January till December. And when I select January, the January month name should appear in the title. If I select multiple uh, you know, months, the all the month names should ap appear in the title. Let us go to format and uh, let us customize the title okay, of the chart. I'll select the chart. I'll go to title and then change the background a little and change the text color to white okay in order to write uh, you know change the measure dynamically we need to create a measure i'll go to the measure table i'll select the measure table and i'll uh, click on this new measure where we would uh, like to create a new measure for uh, the change in title here we shall write our measure name let us write our measure name as dynamic title okay we shall start with an if condition if in the logical test suppose that i want to you know find out the logic where my month name is filtered i'll write the is filtered function and i'll provide the date month name column okay because my month name is being filtered if at all it is filtered we have to write a condition that i'll write another if condition within it and the logical test for this it would be like if it has one filter okay this is has one filter function where it would uh, help us understand whether it has one filter or more filters if it has one filter i would uh, require the true condition as i'll open the double quotes i'll write as total sales for selected month okay here i'll write colon and double quotes i'll write ampersand to concatenate and in the you know concatenation part i'll write selected value in the selected value function i'll provide the month name so that whatever the month we select it would be updated i'll put a comma okay in the false condition i would uh, like to see it as total sales for the months because there would be multiple months i would get the multiple results and i would concatenate using the concatenate x function because uh, there would be multiple selection and uh, this selection would uh, you know require this concatenate x operation in the table i'll write values of month name date month name column i'll put a comma here in the expression let us take this date month name column okay the delimiter is you know comma i'll put it in double quotes and here in the order by expression we would like to provide the order by expression as the selected value here in the selected value we would like to provide the column which is month we have the date month column and we would uh, use this date month within the selected value function i'll put a comma the order 
it must be in ascending order you'll be able to observe the output once once again i'll explain it here this is a parenthesis of uh, concatenate x okay and uh, this is the parenthesis of if condition i'll put a comma in the first if condition if it is false i would like to view the title as total sales for all months okay this is the uh, title which i could uh, you know i would require to see if the conditions are not satisfied if nothing is selected okay i'll shift enter and i'll close the parenthesis of the if condition and i'll commit now our measure is created let us uh, go to the format and uh, check how it will fun you know function based upon the chart here i'll select the chart and i'll go to the format here in the title we have this fx which is conditional formatting i'll select the fx button we'll see a prompt uh, you know mentioning the format style based upon the field value we'll select it based upon the field which is dynamic title measure which we made from the measure table okay i'll select okay now you would be able to you know see the change within the title like if nothing is selected you could see that total sales for all months is mentioned suppose that if i select january month you could notice that the total sales for selected month january january will appear right if at all i select multiple months suppose i select april july and march it randomly i have chosen these months you could see that you know based upon the months it has uh, you know given us the output in an orderly uh, order way okay the reason is we have you know written the selected month column in the order by expression in our measure here right in the concatenate x function so you could little format it in a better way in order to understand the function okay this concatenate x function first we have used the values of month name and expression is the month name and uh, here the delimiter is comma and the order by expression which is selected value of month so that it could order the months based upon the selection even if it is selected randomly it could make it in an ascending order right so this is how concatenate x function helps us when it is filtered and based upon the necessary if conditions we could make our title change dynamically i hope it is understandable this is all for today thank you for watching and uh, we shall meet in the next video